Okay, folks, welcome back for a brief, I hope, and quick video. I'm fighting Finnegan again! But I purchased some keys, and I found a fac, and there is a dark illusion that I can only do in the palace, and we won't be able to go back to the palace after this mission. So it's kind of now or never. So I thought, hey, just for the hell of it, let's try and do the dark illusion on Finnegan and see what happens. No, I don't want to return to intermission. I want to uh, return again. So hopefully Finnegan won't kill us super dead. Up until this point, just in order to get more uh, bonuses and shit, I had avoided getting hit at all, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get a perfect against Finnegan. Because he's got that super annoying charge attack. There's a lot less damage than Jay seemed to be doing, but still. Damn it, Finnegan. Can't even really get started here. Can't even get out of the gate against Finnegan. Have been yes, nice. Have been killing lots and lots of dudes uh, off camera without getting hit at all. Not necessarily doing fancy traps, just. Uh, Anything that was effective and that I could kill people without taking risks in order to save up Warl. So now as soon as I start recording again, of course, immediately start getting my ass kicked. Also coming down with a bit of a cold, I think. I don't feel that good at all, but... Eh. See, that's just BS. He kind of... He's doing his mop in charge when the stage first starts. Like, he appears and he's already doing his mop in charge. Stop. Stationary target. Yeah, I probably should have tried to grab that health, but. Anyway, here's the first of the two new rooms that we can get into because I purchased keys. This is apparently King Olaf's room. It looks pretty fucking weird to me. But this is not where the Dark Illusion is, so let's not waste a whole lot of time. Here. Dark Illusion is in here. I don't actually know how to set this up, and trying to set this up against Finnegan might be kind of a bad idea. There is a... okay, there's a... something behind the giant clock. Okay, I think I see what I'm meant to do. You have to hit the giant clock with something. Boba the Vulture must be hit. That's how this whole thing starts. Some sort of switch in here you have to activate, I think. Sucking him onto it. Didn't do it. There we go, I just dark. Ha! Ah, I got you, Finnegan. What the fuck? Why am I even still alive at this point? Join Clock? Bobo the Vulture? Is that you? Oh, enormous clock! Ow! I just got an enormous clock right through my... Uh, this... Ouch. That looks pretty unpleasant, Finnegan. Yay! It worked! That actually went smoother than I was expecting. And he's still alive? Alright, well, foolish of me to think I'd be able to kill him with something as weak 
think is a uh, dark illusion trap. All right, well, I need to hurry up and finish him off now, or this bitch is going to um, restore his health. We don't want that. As you can see, uh, playing off screen to get back to. I'm not back to where I was, of course, yet, but I'm close. Yep, get stuck killed by the cuckoo clock. No, I'm gonna get caught in it too. Crap. So that doesn't do me any good. That's what I wanted. Except that I just placed the giant. And now I got martinized. Well, she's dead, but that's not really what I was worried about. Luckily, he went into a goofball combo and missed. Finnegan, I love you. All the ladies seem to love Finnegan for some reason. Dark illusions feckin' suck, but dropping about eight magma rocks on me head. I have to admit, that was pretty feckin'. Alright, so that was a quick little video where I showed off a dark illusion that I didn't show off last time, and uh, I also got to kill Finn again. Uh, I was going to say on the first try, obviously that's not true, but I got to kill him with the Dark Illusion. It wasn't the final blow, that kind of annoys me a little bit. I think that you get a guy with the Dark Illusion, you pretty much got him, but apparently not. But anyway, folks, uh, I'm going to go back to plot stuff you've already seen. Got another... Go with this. Princess, you are... Finnegan. Finnegan. Seamus Finnegan O'Reilly. Seamus Finnegan O'Reilly. Impressive princess. Yeah, that doesn't sound like they can say Irish princess from the beginning. But uh, yeah, this is all stuff you've already seen before, so... Um, oh, and I got my mission A clear. I've, um... My hit point bonus went... Yeah, see, I've been getting like... 12, 1500 hit point bonus per mission cleared, and now I'm down to 181 because of this one mission where I screwed up. So, uh, yeah. I've been looking at facts, trying to figure out how much wall it's going to take to unlock everything you can unlock in the game, and I don't think I'm going to play this game enough to actually unlock the alternate outfits, because they are... Each of them costs more than pretty much the entire trap tree put together, it looks like. Um, they're pretty much meant for you to get if you're addicted to the game. I just want to keep playing it forever and ever and ever. Um, but hey, uh, I'm pretty close to having the full trap tree now. Uh, and you'll see more of those awesome traps and stuff uh, in the next video when I have gotten back to Mission 10. Actually, when I'm not talking and reading through dialogue and like skipping all the cinema scenes and not obsessing about whether or not I got hit, Although, actually, I was obsessing about it because I was trying to get perfects for more Warl. But, yeah, I found that if I'm not actually LPing it, I can play through the game quite quickly. So, uh, if this is taking a while, I guess what I'm saying, folks, is it's your fault. Haha, <laughs> anyway, just kidding. But, yeah, um, that was another Dark Illusion. I will try to show off all the Dark Illusions before this is said and done. I've I got at least one more Dark Illusion to work off camera that I'll have to show you uh, in a recording at one point. But uh, so far, the Dark Illusions that you've seen are the Music Box of Death, the cannon thing that we saw where it actually did have cinematics and junk behind it. That does count as a Dark Illusion. I went in and looked. 
And then the Cuckoo Clock Dark Illusion, uh, now you've seen that. There's a Dark Illusion that is in the um, mansion. Uh, it's in a special room in the mansion where one of the side quests start there, even if you haven't purchased the key, which is why I was able to do it. But uh, I'll have to go back and purchase the key for you to get to see it later. And uh, it was kind of cool. And I used it on like a pretty weak generic dude, which is, you know, <laughs> super overkill. But anyway, folks, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Well, the next time you see me, I will either be doing a Dark Illusion you haven't seen yet, or I will be uh, proceeding with the story. Oh, and um, for what it's worth, um, that guy that we didn't kill in the story mode before... Uh, one of the thieves escaped, and uh, my, like, you know, dossier of people that I've murdered had a little blank in it. Uh, we got him this time, so we'll be... I don't remember what he said. Nothing particularly special. But now we've killed pretty much everyone up to this point. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.